Hello, my royalties. It's been a long time. Still haven't quite got it set up right yet. Just still it's way too much going on. I don't know. 2022 has just been a lot. But um, I wanted to jump on and share this with you guys because I need to use it today. And I wanted to share with you what I have got. This Hebrew Greek keyword study Bible. Um, it has a lot of features. You can screenshot this if you want. And I'm going to take this off. Sorry if this is bumpy. Um, and share with you. It is keywords coded to Strong's and AMG's dictionaries and definitions. Dictionary entry for every word of the Bible text. Keywords identified and their original meanings. Explain introductions for every Bible book. Helpful footnotes and center column cross references. Wider margins for notes. Red letter edition. Um, I will show you this too because this is kind of the back of it. And the ISBN. I got it. I don't know if that comes in focus for you guys or not. Um, come on, focus. Uh, hopefully. Um, I got it from christianbooks.com. That's where I get most everything from. But I'm just going to kind of show you what it looks like inside. It comes with this um, grammatical codes to the grammatical notation so you can understand what you're looking at. And this is the Keyword Study Bible Guarantee. And then inside, it's it's hardcover, just like a book. Um, then it has this page, of course, and it's the New King James Version. And I'm sorry if this is bouncy because it's not really stable where I'm going. Um, this is, let's see, I was trying to see if it tells me what the font is on here for you guys. But I don't see it. Anywho. This is the table of contents. And then the difference for the AMG preface and the New King James. And then it just goes into the style, deal, and format. Let's see if in the format it has it. Oh, I still don't see what size font it is. And then it kind of breaks down exactly what you're getting here. So it shows you in detail what they've done, how to help you study and use it. Um, here are the books in the Bible. And then the abbreviations there. Sorry about the darkness and the shadowing. Like I said, I just don't have the proper setup right now. But I wanted to get this out and show this to you guys. Because I thought it was very interesting. Come on. So this is the beginning. Introduction to Genesis. And then here's your study notes. And then for each word that you might need to reference. It tells you where to go look it up and how you can pull up what you want so you know what each section is because a lot of people don't know or understand that each word like it might say blessed in Genesis and blessed in Joshua and blessed in Revelation but each one of those blessed the word blessed means something different um, in that area so people just say oh bless but it has multiple meanings and you should know what that meaning is during that time because that's what confuses a lot of people when they read or study the Word of God they think it's this when it's that and it's different the meanings for different eras in time of the Bible so you got to know and understand what it meant at that particular time especially in the time now so here is Psalms it's a little different 
and then it just continues and I'm just jumping through here because I'm not gonna make this video long I have a lot of stuff I need to do today um, and then back here here are all let me back up a little bit I went a little too far here we go so revelations then it goes study helps and then weights and measures grammatical codes and notations oh and this lighting is just terrible I'm so sorry guys scripture index is what we have here and then I believe that this is yep the concordance and abbreviations so you have a lot of useful information here um, to use to study and like I said I'm sorry for the lighting but this is what I have to work with and I still need to get you guys videos out I really do but it is just between <laughs> the grandkids, the timing of people leaving and coming and going, and me just where I'm at right now, it's really hard. And so here's the AMG's notated Strong's Hebrew Dictionary of the Old Testament. So you have that. Um, the consonants, symbols, vowels, abbreviations. And here you go. So it's broken down for you in Hebrew, how to pronounce it and what it means. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, and it just goes on basically through to the end. All of it is that way. And it does that for the Greek too. So Hebrew and Greek. Sorry. Um, this video is kind of all over the place, but I just want to give you guys a brief overview. And then there's the maps in the back. And there we have it. And by the way, people always ask me, no, none of my videos are sponsored. I just try to get out information that people who study the Bible, Bible journal, etc. Um, might need. That's all it is. I buy the things that I think are useful for me and I share them with you guys. I do have the actual Greek Hebrew uh, translation Bible, but oh my God, guys, the font is so small. I swear it is so tiny that you almost need a magnifying glass to view it seriously. I am not joking. Um, it is just absolutely tiny. So that's my quick video. Again, sorry for the shakiness and the lighting, but um, just wanted to jump on and share that with you guys. I have so much stuff I want to share with you in, in so much content, and I am actually going to be revamping this channel because I need it to be different. So anywho um that's all i have for you guys and as always may god continue to bless you always and until next time toodles